The man who police say shot Pentagon police officers at the subway entrance to the Pentagon complex has died at a hospital hours after being admitted in critical condition. Authorities have identified the shooter as 36-year-old John Patrick Bedell. He grazed the officers with gunshots as he tried to enter the nation's military headquarters. The officers fired back, fatally wounding Bedell. They say they're also investigating whether a second person was somehow involved. According to the officers, it's that, and I've interviewed two or three of them now, they said he walked up very cool, like he had, there was no distress, uh, he had no real emotion in his face. Uh, it's very typical for someone to reach for their pass to show it. When he reached in his pocket, they assumed he was going to get a pass, and he came out with a gun. Bedell is from California. No motive has been disclosed, but Internet posting suggests Bedell may have harbored some resentment against the military. The incident happened near the entrance of the Pentagon's busy subway station at the tail end of rush hour in the nation's capital. The officers acted very quickly and decisively to neutralize him as a threat. There was no, no one else was injured. Uh, as you know, at that time of night, you have a lot of people coming and going, so we were fortunate that there was no other injuries. Inside the Pentagon, employees say they first heard of the shooting on television. They were later told the building was locked down and to stay in place. Well, I didn't hear any of the actual shots. Uh, the Pentagon told us to lock down. That's kind of a, a stay in place, stay inside. And then uh, we heard some announcements over uh, from the police uh, telling us that uh, certain exits were closed and directing us in, uh, in a safe way to exit the building. Police say this is the first time a person has opened fire at the Pentagon's gates. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.